When I work on isomer drawing problems, I don't really calculate the unsaturation index or anything. I just try to sketch something out. So here, let's try to sketch four carbons, two, three, four, and let's try to sketch an aldehyde at the end. And then let's see if we calculated correctly. So there's four carbons, one oxygen, and let's count the hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so this is um, one of the possible isomers we could draw for that. So we have four carbons in the longest chain. Uh, another possibility would, it, we, would be that we have only three carbons in the longest chain. And what would that entail? Making a branch. Okay, th th this is the only place we could put a branch. If we put, it, it, put the methyl group there, we would get this molecule back again. Um, and that's it. I don't see any other molecules I could draw um, for this molecule. So this formula. So this is carbon one. And we call this uh, butanal. Remember that for aldehydes, you never need a number because it's always carbon one, okay? So how about this one here? This is propanal, but wait a minute, there's a methyl group at carbon two. So we need to say two methyl, okay? We definitely need to say two methyl and then say propanal. Um, yeah, you might even be able to leave that off, uh, but I would include it. For sure, do not ever call these butan-1-al or propan-1-al. Okay, so this problem has two answers, butanal on the left, 